down in the bowels of HMCS Fredericton, it's noisy and packed with heavy equipment, dials and displays. This is the main hub of virtually everything that makes the ship run. The ship's work starts here because we deliver the power for the weaponry. We deliver the fresh water and the sanitation services and the, and the, and the heating and ventilation and air conditioning for the personnel to be able to be comfortable to do their jobs. Down here, it's not so comfortable. It's extremely close quarters, often with only enough space for one person to walk. And it's hot, anywhere from 40 to 70 degrees Celsius. Those who serve here are doing work that's vital to the operation of the ship. We have four uh, diesel generators, each capable of uh, generating 850 kilowatts for roughly about uh, 3.4 megawatts of power, enough to power a small town. All of the water used on the ship, whether for cooking, drinking, or showering, is also made here. When the ship is at sea, sometimes for weeks at a time, there's no way to take on fresh water, so it has to be extracted from seawater using a process called reverse osmosis distillation. Fresh water is extracted, and higher salt content water is ejected back over the side. So what we're left with is just simply clean, fresh water, absent of salt, down to about... Uh, under 400 to 300 parts per million, and then we add in our chlorine. If we suffer a loss of water production, it's, it's almost an instantaneous killer of morale. So this is one of our most critical pieces of equipment to keep operating here. The equipment runs constantly and has to be monitored 24-7. Inspections and oil checks are done every hour around the clock. Sometimes, though, things break down and parts just wear out. David Hooper keeps a vast array of spare parts on board, but that's not always enough. If it's absolutely critical, we can actually have someone fly in with the parts as check baggage in order to get them to us to maintain our operational readiness. This is also where the ship gets its drive. The Fredericton can travel at speeds in excess of 30 nautical miles per hour thanks to powerful diesel and gas engines. The diesel engine is the more economical of the two used when the ship is patrolling. The dual gas turbines come in handy when there's a need for speed. When we're responding to uh, a piracy incident, we'll put on 30 knots plus and uh, we'll consume 11,000 litres of fuel per hour. Refilling the fuel tanks isn't as easy as pulling up to a full service station. The Fredericton refuels at sea every week or two, a process called a RAS. When we get alongside, we have a lot of work that's going on, so if we can get the fueling done at sea, it's uh, less burden on our engineers and hall technicians and bosons and uh, actually everybody that is involved in it. So uh, at sea, we can do it within a couple hours. It'll be done, uh, rather than some, sometimes it may take uh, several hours to do it alongside. The ship runs on diesel and jet fuel. It takes on as much as possible at each refill. This time, the Fredericton meets up with a Saudi Arabian tanker, a first between these two countries. Like other encounters in international waters, language can sometimes be a barrier. Most of our stuff is done through uh, paddles or wands at night, so uh, most NATO nations, they know them. And no matter where they are in the world, the Navy follows Canadian environmental and safety standards. Earlier we had to, you know, some uh, absorbent pads, different type of uh, environmental things. In case we have a slight spill, we can take care of it, no problem, soak up pads. We have barrels on board that do that. Uh, we make sure that any of the fuel uh, doesn't, does not go over the side. This refuel goes off without a hitch, but it's not the last order of business to keep the frigate running. About Every time the ship pulls into port, the dive team gears up to check out the ship's underbelly. When we inspect under the ship, we basically do a full uh, hull search, so making sure the, the whole hull is uh, clean and is free of any uh, device uh, foreign divers or foreign swimmers could put under. They also inspect the equipment that's housed under the ship, looking for any damage that could affect how it moves through the water. We have the, the rudder for the ship's steering two shafts with uh, the propellers for uh, giving the ship his uh, propulsion to the water. As well, we have our sonar dome for uh, anti-submarine uh, warfare sonar, as well as uh, the uh, echo sounder for seeing how, how deep is the water below the ship. And all those have to be cleaned uh, regularly for uh, being uh, better effectiveness. Just one more step to ensuring the ship is ready for the next leg of her mission and her long trip home to Canada. Allison Brinsmead Melanson, Global News, reporting from HMCS Fredericton in the Gulf of Aden.